Hi, Sagittarius. This is your astrology reading and forecast for November 14th through 24th, 2023. There are three main themes I'm excited to discuss with you today, Sagittarius. The first is healing words. We'll be looking at the Mercury-Venus sextile for this, which occurs in your first and 11th houses. The second theme we'll be talking about today is introspection. We'll be focused in on your 12th house for this. We'll discuss the new moon that occurs on November 13th and the Sun-Mars conjunction that occurs November 18th. And the third theme I'm excited to discuss with you today is independence and adventure. We'll be focused in on your first house for this. Mercury moved into this sign on November 10th and the Sun will ingress into the sign of Sagittarius on November 22nd. Let's go ahead and get started, Sagittarius. First, let's talk about this theme of healing words and zero in on your first and 11th houses. On November 12th, Mercury and Venus sextile one another. And there is tremendous healing potential in this that I wanted to discuss with you today. I feel like Mercury and Venus both had sort of a difficult time in October. And this might not have been as obvious to you as it was to some of the other signs because some of it was occurring in your 12th house and sometimes things in our 12th house tend to be below the surface of our consciousness. But October was kind of a heavy month and I'm sure you could feel that too even if it didn't sort of affect you directly. I wonder if it could have had to do with your friends, if your friends might have had a hard time in October because I see this coming in up in your 11th house, this aspect, and that 11th house rules friends and also groups. Anyway, really both Mercury and Venus had a difficult time in October, but now I feel like that signifies some healing words in our own lives. And for you, this coming in between your first and 11th houses, you could really be doing some repairs if any of those relationships were strained in October uh, with friends or with people who you associate with in other groups. Like it'd be like people that you go to church with or people that you're in a play with or something. Not really usually work, but maybe a group of friends. So there's definitely some potential really in all of your relationships in November to have some wonderful healing words exchanged. You're never someone Sagittarius who's at lack for what to say. This is really a lovely aspect that makes it just very easy for you to find those beautiful right words at the right time with the right people. And I feel like it could come in to do some healing work with friends who could really use that. And you are an amazing friend. So I could see that showing up as a part of this theme for sure this month, Sag. Next, let's move on to this theme of introspection and take a close look up here in your 12th house. There's a new moon here on the 13th of November and those energies will be active for the rest of the month and the sun and Mars are also conjunct on the 18th which will be active throughout this period. All of this activity, especially the new moon, suggests a real period of introspection for you but it's sort of a going deep into who you are in order to have this sort of period of renewal because a new moon is all about a new start. It's all about letting go of old patterns, especially with Scorpio here, right? There's that energy for transformation, for pulling out anything that doesn't serve you anymore, for going deep if need be, even getting into something that's painful if need be in order to transmute it, to grow from it, to learn. And this is a great place to have such a deep aspect because it's in your 12th house. This is definitely something that's going on within you. It's not something that's showing up in your world. It's not some difficulty or some challenge or anything. It's just some stuff you're working on with yourself. I feel like you're really doing some thinking about who you really are now. Maybe sort of understanding the subconscious patterning that you didn't before and how it's impacting the way you live your life or the way you make decisions, the way you have relationships. You know, sometimes we can go within and uncover the real deeper meaning or trigger behind something. And then once that's identified, it can really lead to a big transformation. So I could see something like this coming up for you this month, Sagittarius. If you feel like sharing in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. Or you could also like this video to just kind of encourage me and the growth of this channel or subscribe if you'd like to see more. Finally, let's talk about this theme of independence and adventure. We'll be focusing on your first house for this. And I feel like this is kind of the next step after the introspection that we spoke about in the second theme because then the sun moves into your first house here, 
Mercury has been here since the 10th, and it's really those signatures that I'm focused on here for this theme. It's a very powerful signature, the Sun and Mercury first house Sagittarius. So you are feeling very independent right now. You are really feeling your individual identity. And there's something in here about communication too. You're really wanting to communicate it, maybe with some friends, hearkening back to that first thing we talked about with healing words. And I think you're seeking new experiences, new adventures. It could be travel. Sagittarians often love to travel, but it's really more about the learning and the adventure of it. So you could be seeking adventure in some other capacity too. But there's this feeling of independence, this sort of uniqueness to it, a a leadership even. You could do some amazing leadership work during this time. I feel like you have this enthusiasm and this vision for the future that could really benefit others. So if that's mixed up in this independent adventure, that sounds wonderful. I feel like leadership can be an independent pursuit. Like it's a way in which you can be being very independent while also being with others. So that theme could definitely show up for you this month. I could see that for sure. Being in a leadership role. Just be a little careful as well with the bluntness, with the honesty. I'm just seeing this again show up here. So worth mentioning since I'm seeing it a couple times this month for you, Sagittarius. It's wonderful to be honest, but we want to be careful not to be too blunt and say something that hits the wrong way. But for the most part, the enthusiasm here is going to be really palpable to everyone around you this month. So I wish you a wonderful independent adventure this month, Sagittarius. I hope you have a wonderful November.